Pioneer is an automatic workflow to pre-process, segment and analyze femoral knee cartilage from MR images. Pioneer is specifically designed for open and reproducible musculoskeletal research. Pioneer favors open research because it is written in Python, it uses open file formats, it's written in modules for software reuse, and it reuses existing software. And finally, the code is freely available on GitHub. In addition, Pioneer favors reproducible research because it uses Jupyter Notebook as a user interface. Jupyter Notebooks are computational notebooks that combine narrative code and visualization of results. They can be shared with other researchers independently from the operating system, and they can be attached to papers for reproducibility of results and graphs. Pioneer documentation is at sbonaretti.github.io slash pioneer. On the home page, you can find links to try Pioneer on Binder, to the code on GitHub and to the preprint on BioArchive. To install Pioneer, go to the installation page and follow the instructions. If you don't have Python 3 already installed on your machine, we recommend to install Anaconda, a platform providing a complete Python distribution. Click on the link to the Anaconda page. Then click on Download. Choose your operating system. And finally, download the latest Python version. Install Anaconda like any other software. If you need any support, have a look at the official documentation. To install Pioneer, go to your terminal and copy-paste these lines. After each line, press Enter and install. To get familiar with Pioneer Pipeline, download the demo images here. This forwards you to Zenodo. And here you can actually download the images. Once you have unzipped the downloaded file, you will find two folders, inputs containing input files, images and Jupyter notebooks, and outputs for comparison. Start Anaconda. Go to Jupyter Lab and click Launch. Navigate to the Inputs folder and here you will see the content. Click on the preprocessing notebook. Every notebook in Pioneer is structured in the same way. First, a link to the GitHub repository then a link to the documentation, explanations of the steps in the notebook, commands alternated to narrative, visualization of the results, references to the used algorithms, and dependencies for reproducibility of the computational environment. To run a Jupyter notebook, you can go to Run, Run All Cells, or you can click on the cell and press shift return. In each notebook we have to set a few inputs. In the pre-processing notebook we have to set a list of images to be pre-processed. The list is contained in the file image list pre-processing. The first line is the folder original containing the DICOM folders and then each line is a DICOM folder with the corresponding knee laterality. The other inputs are the number of cores for parallel computing and intensity standardization, which is one for both spatial and intensity pre-processing and zero for only spatial pre-processing. Once you have run all cells, your notebook will look similar to this one. First, you have run some spatial standardization. You have read the DICOM images, 
change orientation to right anterior inferior, flipped to left laterality, and set the image origin to 0, 0, 0. Then you have run some intensity standardization. You have corrected magnetic field inhomogeneities, rescaled intensities to 0, 100, and run an edge preserving smoothing filter. In the visualization section, you will see one subject per row. On the left side, you will see the image after spatial pre-processing, and on the right side, you will see the image after spatial and intensity pre-processing. Open segmentation new subjects. The inputs of these notebooks are image list new subject. It contains in the first line the folder of the reference image, an image that has already been segmented. The second line is the folder of the pre-processed images. The third line is the name of the reference image. And the fourth line is the name of the pre-processed image. The second input is the segmentation modality, which can be new subject, longitudinal or multimodal. And the third input is the number of cores for parallel computing. Once you have run all cells, your Jupyter notebook will look similar to this one. To run the Atlas-based segmentation algorithm, first you have prepared the reference image, then you have segmented the femur, and finally you have segmented the femoral cartilage. In the visualization section, each row corresponds to an image, and per each image you can see medial, central and lateral slices for a quick evaluation of the obtained 3D mask. Open the morphology notebook. Morphology analysis includes the calculation of thickness and volume of the femoral cartilage. For this notebook, the inputs are image list morphology, which contains the folder with the segmented images and the name of the masks. The thickness algorithm, which for now it's only one, the nearest neighbor. Number of course for the calculation. Output file name containing average and standard deviation of thicknesses. And output file name containing cartilage volume. Once you have run all cells, your notebook will be similar to this one. To calculate cartilage thickness, we separated the subchondral surface and articular surface of cartilage, as you can see here in yellow and blue. Then we calculate cartilage thickness. We visualize cartilage thickness as a thickness map, as a graph with average and standard deviation, and as a table with the actual values. Similarly, after calculating volume, we visualize it as a graph and the actual value in a table. In Pioneer, we have implemented both the exponential and linear feeding and the EPG modeling. Let's open the EPG modeling notebook. The inputs of this notebook are the image list relaxometry EPG TXT file, where the first line is the pre-processed folder, the second one is the segmented folder, then the two acquisitions of the image and the femoral cartilage mask. The second input is the number of cores and the third input is the output file name containing average and standard deviations of the values. Once you run all cells, you will have your T2 maps and you will see them here visualized as maps, as a graph with average and standard deviation, and as a table with the actual values. This was an overview of Pioneer. In our documentation, you will find more information about uh, the various modules of the software. You will also find an FAQ section with a lot of questions and answers. If you have any issues, please uh, do not hesitate to open a new issue on GitHub and we will be happy to fix and improve our software.